Hello! Since fall is right around the corner, I am inspired to give readings for the last quarter of our year 2016. Autumn begins when the sun enters into the tropical sign of Libra on Wednesday, September 22nd, 2016 at 10.31 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The significator card for Autumn, as well as for the sign Libra, is the major arcana card, Justice. We see the scales here in the picture as representing the balanced division of the equal amount of day and night. And with the sword here, we see that Lady Justice also is announcing that winter is soon to follow. Before I begin your reading, please keep in mind not all the messages given will apply to every person that you share your sign with. In such case, please consider watching your rising moon and sun sign in either the tropical or sidereal systems or whatever sign energy you identify with the most. Use your intuition. You may also choose to consult a professional for a personalized reading. So without further ado, here are your autumn readings. Hi Libra, for your fall reading I will be pulling four cards from the Thoth deck. The first card will be the remainder of September from the first day of autumn through the 30th. The second card will be for the month of October. The third card will be for the month of November and the fourth card will be for the first day of December up until the winter solstice on the 21st. In addition to the four cards for fall, I will also pull a supplemental message from the Oracle of the Grail Code deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. At the end of your card reading, if you wish to stay tuned, I will read the book's full explanation on that message for you. So then I will also be pulling an advice card from the playing cards, and lastly I will select a card from the Angels of Light deck to see what angel is accompanying you for this fall season of 2016. Okay, Libra. Let's see what fall has for you, Libra. Okay. Oh my gosh, the Queen of Cups again. Okay, so I've done um, most of the readings up till this point. Uh, I think I have one more reading to do. And this card is the card that keeps coming out. Same position. Um, it's a little bit, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit actually, but it's most of the signs have this. So um, the Queen of Cups, again, uh, in this position for September, I'm just going to sort of uh, reiterate what I did for the other signs. Um, I feel like the eclipse that we had uh, in September, the lunar eclipse was very emotional for a lot of people. It stirred up a lot of emotions. The Queen of Cups is associated with the moon, right? Her watery feelings, things like that. So it could have some sort Sort of um, emotions that are coming up to the surface, things that you haven't visited for a while, visited for a while. I feel like a lot of people are just sort of like recuperating from that intense energy. Okay, so taking care of yourself, um, nurturing yourself, being kind to yourself. Okay, so I do see that energy here for you for the rest of September. So be good to you. Okay, that's the message here. Okay, so then the okay. So then October, we have the Ten of Swords. So something is over, okay? It's over, it's done with, it's not coming back to life. You don't have to worry about revisiting it. The worst is behind you, okay? Something in October, like, is coming to an end, okay? Do you see, like, a heart in here? It's something heart-related, emotionally related, that, again, it's over. You don't have to revisit it. Um, so you just have to sort of face it it's over with. Um, it has sort of this like shattered energy um, here. I don't love this card at all. No one loves this card, but this is can be um, somebody uh, you felt like you could trust maybe that you couldn't actually, or maybe they showed their true colors in some way. Um, I'm not going to relate it to the Queen of Cups because she's very considerate. She's very nice, right? Um, but I do see that somebody is like has sort of hurt you in some way. Um, and you're sort of like, okay, 
I'm over and done with that. Interesting that the next card is the Ace of Swords. So you have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So numerology, you've got one and zero, which is what? One. One plus zero is one. Then you've got one here. So it's basically the same card reiterating itself. So it's like the worst is behind you and now you have a new start, right? So now you can forge on and do something, see something very quickly coming in here for you, Libra. Okay. So, um, generally this is an idea. Okay. So in November, um, you could still be processing this, like mentally wrapping your head around whatever happened in, uh, October. Okay. So I see you really forging forward and there's a lot of light coming through here. So there's a lot of mental activity. Okay. An idea, um, something that is clear to you now, and it's actually kind of a relief. There's some freedom with this, okay, mental freedom. Then in December, we have the Princess of Wands. Okay, fun. So here comes the fun again. So this is with the Page of Wands, um, a lot of energy coming in, excitement. Um, again, just that word fun to me, um, playfulness, joy, happiness, uh, bringing you back to life, resuscitating you from whatever happened here. Um, the end, like the beginning of December, uh, going into up to the, the solstice is, um, going to be a, uh, like an active time for you. Also, it's a card of messages here and I get the spoken word here. So the news coming in, um, that could have something to do with something that ended here and you're still sort of processing it and maybe you're just talking it over with friends. Okay. Um, I do see you discussing it with people. So let's see what, um, the Oracle of the Grail Code has to tell you. I have a supplemental message here. I love working with this deck. It's so fun. The cards are huge. <laughs> and it's uh, part of a novelty thing for me. Love the images on it. Um, I'm feeling drawn to this card. Merriment. <laughs> she has sort of a wry smile for being uh, merriment. When I think merriment, I think of like, right, this card, which is like fun, exuberance, right? But she's just sort of like... <laughs> barely showing it on her face. For some reason, I feel like uh, you're putting uh, putting on a smile <laughs> uh, when you don't necessarily feel merry. <laughs> but um, I'm going to read more about this at the end if you want to stay tuned so I can give you more information. Um, let's pull an advice card for you, Libra. Okay, advice for Libra, advice for Libra, advice, five of swords, a betrayal, something happened, gossip, words, I have, uh, excuse me, please forgive me, this is not the five of swords, I saw it immediately and thought swords because it was pointy, but it's the five of pentacles. Still not great energy, but it's not necessarily as bad as the Five of Swords to me. Um, <laughs> this isn't so much slander and gossip as it is feeling left out, okay? It's a karmic situation, however. Whoever, like, you are dealing with um, that's over, it's like, okay, that was definitely karma. Now, you had to go through something kind of unpleasant in order to sort of clear the slate, balance the cosmic books in a way, okay, with a soulmate. Um, <clears throat> this can be friendships, it can be family members, it's certain circumstances that were meant to happen um, in order ultimately for your soul's growth, but it's unpleasant, okay, feeling left out, um, I see you leaving somebody behind, okay. All right, Libra, let's get... Um, an idea of um, angelic energy that you can call on to help you through this time of difficulties and to celebrate with you in the fun times as well. I have a couple good things for fall, a couple difficult things for fall. It feels kind of balanced to me, but whatever it is, it's very fated, destined. Okay, so which angel is going to be accompanying Libra for their endeavors for the fall season. Angel of nature. 
There is much for you to learn from the loving spirit of the animals in our world. Angel of nature helps you connect with their energy, asking, or excuse me, aiding, 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 I can, I can read it, aiding you to link, let me start over. There is much for you to learn from the loving spirit of the animals in our world. The angel of nature helps you connect with their energy, aiding you in linking and bonding with them. Ask for help to receive their influence whenever you feel out of touch with unconventional, unconditional acceptance of life and love. That was a mouthful for some reason. Okay. Anywho, um, out of touch to me just is saying like you leaving someone behind. Um, it's fulfilled its purpose. There's no longer a need to be strung along or have this relationship strung along if it's not um, nurturing you. Okay. Going out into nature, going outside, connecting with the earth, grounding yourself. Um in uh in the nature realms also pets are there too cats dogs um, animals that are domesticated in some way are really love us unconditionally when people don't and people put conditions on us so um pets can be angels in our lives so there's some sort of an appreciation there as well with um animals but also just connecting with nature in general so this you can call upon this um angel to kind of help you be grounded and um, remain centered okay so this was the message that i had for you libra for the uh, season of fall if you have any questions or any comments about your reading you can leave them in the comment section below and i will be sure to address them thank you so much for watching Okay, Libra, so the meaning of merriment appears before you, eyes twinkling and smiling, ready to swat you one with her giggle wand. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so you are hereby invited to lighten up, leaven up, and liven up. It is a time to throw off and throw out the burden of being solemn and serious about your life with a smile in your heart. Merriment comes not a moment too late to assist you in living with laughter and finding the humor in life's situations. Are you a drama queen who takes it with her wherever she goes, leaving trails of soap opera bubbles and slick? Time to snap out of it. Does anxiety eat you for dinner, gnawing on your bones and consuming your nervous system like linguine? Wow, they really have a way with words, don't they? Okay, time to make your laughter your daily antidote. Were you shamed and embarrassed for being merry as a child and now find it hard to feel safe with humor? Time to choose to put that behind you and make the comical your ally. Perhaps you are hit so hard by challenges that your sense of mirth has gone and left you for dead. Quick, you need emergency droll therapy. We can live without many things, but one thing we cannot survive without is our sense of humor, especially when we are being pressed and ground down. So look at your life as farce. Choose to find situations ludifisk and revel in the absurd. After all, life is nothing to be taken too seriously. Perfect message for you. Libra. Okay, so I hope this added some sort of depth to the meaning of your reading. And again, thank you so much for watching.